is uh, Dr. Mark Hitchcock uh, with another episode of Marking the Times from Faith Bible Church here in Edmond, Oklahoma. Uh, as always, I want to thank you all for watching and participating with me in these and for sending in questions to my Facebook page. You can send in questions about prophecy or, or other topics, and I'll try to answer those as we go along. I'm also I'll just be giving updates about uh, things that are happening in our world that are related to, to end-time prophecy. One of the, the big questions that's always asked is about the timing of different events, especially the timing of the rapture. And really, when you think about Bible prophecy overall or eschatology, really the main issue is an issue of timing. Just when you think about one's overall view of prophecy, um, some people are preterists. They believe the prophecies have already been fulfilled. They're historicists that think they're being fulfilled today. Uh, they're idealists who say they really don't have any concrete fulfillment. And then like myself, futurists, we believe that most of the prophecies, um, certainly uh, in the New Testament, are unfulfilled prophecies. They're, they're yet to be fulfilled in the end times. When you come to the millennium, uh, there's people that believe the millennium is being fulfilled now. It's a spiritual kingdom. Others like myself say, no, the millennium is future. It's a literal future earthly kingdom where Jesus will rule and reign. And then when you come to the rapture, it's the same idea. Uh, some are pre-trib like myself. We believe the rapture will happen before the seven-year tribulation. Others are mid-trib. Um, others are post-trib. So it's about issues of timing. And one of the main issues of timing is uh, the topic of the rapture. And uh, one question that came in, and I've been asked this question a lot, so I thought I would uh, share this with you. Uh, the, the, uh, the lady asked this question. She says, in one of your books, can we still believe in the rapture? You said there were no other signs to precede the rapture after the coming of the Holy Spirit. But what about the Jews becoming a nation again after they were spread out across the world for 2,000 years? They became a nation again in 1948. Since they had to be a nation again first, the rapture couldn't have taken place before 1948. You didn't mention this sign in your book. Uh, can you give me your opinion about this? Um, then she says, I like this. I'm so looking forward to seeing Jesus at the rapture. Even so, come Lord Jesus. That's a really good question because a lot of people will say, well, you know, Christ couldn't have come before 1948. So how could people say, you know, the rapture could happen in any moment? Here's the way I understand uh, the prophetic timing of events. I believe the rapture is an imminent event that could occur at any time. Um, the rapture could have happened before 1948, and the Lord could have brought the Jews back after that period of time and set up the events for the coming tribulation period. Because remember, when the rapture occurs, the rapture doesn't begin the seven-year tribulation period. Uh, the rapture will end the church age, and then sometime after the rapture, that seven-year tribulation period will begin. So there's almost certainly a time gap between the rapture and the beginning of the tribulation period. So a lot of other events could happen in that time gap, that, that period of time. So the rapture could have happened before 1948. God could have brought the Jewish people back to the land during that period of time. Then at some point after that, the tribulation period begins and the events of the end times would occur. So I still believe the rapture can occur at any moment. I think the, the city of Babylon is going to be rebuilt in the end times. And people will say, well, that has to happen before the rapture. Well, no, it can happen after the rapture, between the rapture and the starting of the tribulation period. It's the same thing with uh, the Jewish temple. I think the temple has to be rebuilt in Jerusalem there on the Temple Mount for the events of the end times to be fulfilled. Uh, 2 Thessalonians 2.4 says that uh, this man of sin, the man of lawlessness, will sin in the temple of God and declare that he is God. So there has to be a third Jewish temple that's rebuilt, but that could happen after the rapture. You know, the rapture could occur today. Many of these further stage-setting events could take place, and then uh, the tribulation period can begin. So I believe that the rapture could happen at any moment. I don't think there are any things that have to happen before the rapture. It's an event that's imminent. Now, what we mean by imminent is that it's an event that's certain that it will happen, but uncertain when it will happen. Um, I like to I think I've probably used this before, but it's like the, the big one in California. You know, people are waiting for this big earthquake to happen, and we all know it's going to happen someday. So it's certain that it's going to happen, but it's uncertain when it will take place. And it's the same thing with the rapture. So we're not ultimately looking for signs. We're looking for the Savior. But the more of these signs that line up before the rapture makes us believe uh, that the rapture could be very soon. Anyway, I hope that helps clear up a little bit about the timing of the rapture. I'll look forward to answering uh, some more questions next time. God bless you. Uh, thank you for joining us.